Vralar is a medication that's very similar to Abilify, and we're not sure exactly how it works, but it's thought to partially activate the dopamine D2 receptors and serotonin 5-HT1A receptors. And it also blocks serotonin 5-HT2A receptors. And so this is very similar to a medication like Abilify, although Vralar is newer and it's really being marketed to help treat diseases such as schizophrenia, bipolar, either the manic type or bipolar depression, and also helpful for adjunctive treatment of depression, along with someone who's already on other antidepressants. So it's not entirely sure how this medication works, but primarily it affects dopamine regulation, and dopamine is thought to play a role in a variety of mental health symptoms. For example, too much dopamine in the mesolimbic pathway in the brain is thought to lead to hallucinations, and so blocking those receptors helps to regulate that. Too much dopamine is also thought to play a role in manic or hypomanic behaviors, and so this medication helps to regulate that. Conversely, for depression, it's thought that too little dopamine production may be a result, and then again, this medication alters the dopamine pathways, so it's thought maybe it could help with treatment of depression along with it. So this medication is considered to be an antipsychotic medication. Antipsychotic meaning something that helps with reality impairment or it just lost touch with reality. And these types of medications typically involve or typically come with side effects that can affect weight, can affect cholesterol, can increase blood sugar levels. And so typically there needs to be regular monitoring of the cholesterol, the blood sugars, in a doctor's visit. Also, the weight should be monitored because there can be associated with some weight gain over time. Now, this medication is advertised as it doesn't really cause as much weight gain as some of the other antipsychotic medications such as Seroquel or Olanzapine, but it could very well play a role in weight gain and so may be something to look out for. The, again, this medication is similar to Abilify, but many people may stop Abilify because it causes them to be too restless or feel like they're jumping out of their skin or just not at ease. And so this may be a better option for people with those sort of side effects to Abilify. Um, along with all antipsychotic medications, there can be a risk of Parkinson's-like symptoms and people who take this types of medication for several years. Usually it's a dose-dependent relationship, so if you're on higher doses, you have more chances to have these side effects. And it's maybe several years, such as five years, 10 years, maybe even longer. Uh, and it can start as shaking or tremors and that can lead to problems with someone's gait, maybe uh, lip smacking or lip rolling. And if it's, a lot of times the shakes or tremors if caught early can get back to normal. But if those symptoms continue and the medication continues, then it can be irreversible and someone will permanently have those shakes or tremors. That's why that's one of the major concerns with this types of medication or these medications in class, which is why you want to really be sure it's indicated uh, for your condition if you, you or someone you know is taking it. Also with antipsychotic medications, there's a rare condition called neuroleptic malignant syndrome where someone can get really high fevers, unstable like blood pressure or heart rate. They may get episodes of confusion. It can be a serious uh, life-threatening emergency in which they need to stop the medications, oftentimes be treated in the hospital setting for with medications that help uh, calm down the mind and body and uh, be monitored in a close setting. It's very, it doesn't happen often, but it can happen. So just a concern. Again, it's called neuroleptic malignant syndrome. So that's the gist of Raylar, this new medication that's out there that's very similar to Abilify. I've personally heard of mixed stories about it. Some people really find it's helpful. Some people haven't been able to tolerate it as well.